Bayonetta 2, can it steal the limelight away from next gen? My name is Tamor Hussain for CBG and I am joined by Joel Scrabbles. From official Xbox magazine. How are you, Joel? I'm um, alright, yeah. We've both you. played a healthy, a large chunk of uh, uh, preview, uh, preview build of uh, Bayonetta 2. We have. Um, approximately seven chapters ish, which <laughs> is what we're. Approximately <laughs> seven chapters. <laughs> which is what we're allowed to talk about. So uh, the question is do you reckon it could uh, kind of steal the limelight and put it on the Wii U, considering all the big games coming out um, in the future or in the around the same time as Bayonetta 2? No. No? Why not? <laughs> Basically, Bayonetta 2 is, is this incredible sort of cavalcade of like action mechanics and ludicrous fights. Mm. It's, it's a true sequel to the original Bayonetta, which was, you know, a One niche game. One of the game. best action games ever it's, as well. But a niche game, mm -hmm. and that's what's happened here again. They have made a, a proper follow-up. It feels so dense with yes. ideas. It's not what next-gen console owners want. They want... They want the f the biggest, like mm. most upfront visuals ideas. They want like brash stuff. And whilst this has all the bombast, the real game lies under tens of hours of work. And you can tell that within the first seven chapters. Mm. It's, it's so it's so deep. From my perspective, I actually think it might stand a chance because nah. I feel like games like Destiny and Titanfall are coming out, and they're kind of okay spins on stuff that we've already played and done, and they're executed to various degrees of success. I don't think Titanfall was as great as, you know, a lot of people made it out to be. The single player is a bit lacking. Same with uh, Destiny. There's elements of it that I don't like. Whereas Bayonetta 2 is, I think, the seven chapters I've played is executed incredibly well. Mm. Barring any shocking nose dives in quality post-chapter 7, I can confidently say that is probably going to be one of the better games of this year. Oh, definitely. And yeah. I'm, like, by no means and I'm, am I saying it's not an impressive game. Mm. It's just like... The thing is, it's made by a developer so confident in their own abilities. And, and, and they know their niche. They know exactly what they're doing. There's a reason they came back to Bayonetta for their first sequel ever. It is a game built from knowledge. It's just... Mm. It's, it's solid in every way. Mm. Um, it's just... It's not for the casual observer. Right. It is for... A hardened action game player. Yeah, it must be said that based on what I've played, the seven chapters, there's not a lot new to it. You're, what you say is completely true in that it's not. There's not amazing leaps in design or you know nothing fresh and fresh idea wise. But what it is is the core gameplay, which is some of the best action gameplay of all time, mm -hmm. just executed again with such confidence mm -hmm. and and kind of like delicacy that it's it's almost. A joy to play more of the same again. Oh yeah, and, yeah. Because uh, I'm playing it, and it doesn't. Uh, so far, I've encountered nothing new. It's the exact same mechanics. There's a couple of new weapons that I found, but I just am loving every moment of it, and that's also because the the spectacle of it is huge now, that's and that's thing. where the confidence really comes across. You like. can you can tell that they've had fun leveraging what the Wii U can do. The yeah. Wii U does have a bit more graphical heft when it's used in the right way. Obviously, that's mm. been a big point of contention. But when you compare it to the Xbox 360 version, which you're going to get to do on the Wii U, especially if you buy the special edition with both games in there, mm. you can feel the push. Every arc of a weapon looks mm. like this kind of amazing crystalline sweep across the screen. Shockwaves turn like um, like matrix-like water ripples across. Mm. No, uh, which time looks incredible. There are a couple of fights um, where slowing things down reveals more about what the environment is. It turns into this sort of... It's almost like you're seeing in between the lines of animation. It's its unbelievably presented. And they really, really don't hold back with presentation. Like, the, what you said there is, like, sh showing what the Wii can do. When you've got... I mean, in the last game, you'd see uh, the kind of witch monster things that they she'd summon from other dimensions briefly they'd pop up mm -hmm. eat a monster a boss and disappear now they're kind of in some some fights they're in the background yeah. fighting another monster for while while you're in the foreground fighting an enemy and they would like regularly cross paths and and they're mirroring yeah, your, they're moves, mirroring your well. moves and they would they will like like one of your monsters might stumble into the to the arena you're standing on and it will crush it and deform it and you're moving your fight along it's incredible it's very impressive to mm. see that on the Wii U. Well, it's interesting as well what they've done, the kind of, the big innovation action-wise is the introduction of this thing called Umbran Climax, which is you use your magic meter, which you used to use for um, torture attacks, which are still there, but now you can use it as a brief power-up for your weapon, which sort of puts every attack you do up onto a new tier of power. So usually uh, a strong attack 
at the end of a combo will summon a piece of one of uh, the Wicked Weave demons. Now it's every attack, every small attack summons a piece, and then those strong attacks summon the entire demon that comes just tearing across yeah. the screen, uh, or out of portals, or just from all over the place. Mm. And it just, it's this kind of confidence of just, we have all of this in the bank and you and you need to, like it's about exploring to see more of them it's it's like those pieces are little puzzle pieces and then eventually you get the whole thing if you've done well enough if you've earned it the beauty of it is of the gameplay is actually how approachable it is at the same time the witch time mechanic is super satisfying mm -hmm. and if you're the kind of person that's inclined to figure out combos and that kind of stuff it enables you it gives you that moment to kind of get queue up your awesome combo mm. but if you're just a casual player it's also kind of like a, a way to make it a little easier on you you can focus on really put your your focus on just dodging mm -hmm. for a large period of the fight and once you successfully dodge you can just start hammering buttons and doing really well and it's Bayonetta 2 more so than the last game is even more approachable with the, the touch controls. Have you tried any of that stuff? Yeah, I think they're a little muddled. The, yeah. the problem with them, from my limited experience with them, is as a player who wants the depth, you're going to find that some of your inputs don't feel quite right, and being put out of control um, of just what moves you're doing a lot of the time actually kind of takes a bit of the rhythm out of the game, so it can be harder to judge when you need to dodge because you're halfway through a combo you didn't expect to be doing. Um, that said, for a casual player who just doesn't want to deal with the button mashing side, it is a really neat little way of getting you out of that and still getting the spectacle, spectacle of the game. Yeah, personally that's what I played it for. So I'd play through once uh, normal and then I'd try a touch mode again just to see the cool moments mm. again and get through it quickly and kind of... So I can really look at the environments and see what's happening around me instead of focusing on the pressing of the buttons and that kind of mm. stuff. But yeah, overall I, I've played the seven chapters excellent so far like i said i'll be shocked if it if any if it goes downhill from here it's just a really confidence in, confident enjoyable experience and personally i think a lot of people will be talking about it i hope that it gets a little more attention on the wii u it definitely deserves it if only for a brief period while this game is out i think it deserves it that's what we think of bayonetta 2 please subscribe to the cbg youtube channel for more regular videos